Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to modify a file using Python. So in this video I'll be using the file called textfile1.txt. If I open it you can see there are three lines of sentences and what I want to do in today's video is I want to check my file, go through every line and try to find the word bananas. If I can find the word bananas I want to add a, a string called our yellow. So if you see in this file, when I will write my code and run it, it will go through every line, try to find the word bananas. So in the second line, it will find the word bananas, and then it will add in R yellow. So let's see how we can do this. Let me just close it right now. So to do this, we need to first import a module called file input. So let's do that. Import file input. After that, we need to create a variable called file name and inside it we need to pass in the path in which our file is located and then what we want to do is we want to create a for loop so that we can go through every line of our file so for line in file input dot file input so there is a class called file input inside the module file input uh, just be uh, uh, cautious about the, the capital letter for uh, the class name uh, F and I are in capital letters. This will take in two pieces of information. The first one is which file it needs to modify. So we pass in file name and then it needs to get the value of in place. We're going to pass in the value 1 for in place. In place is equal to 1 basically means we tell Python to just overwrite our file so after that we need to pass in the condition what are we looking for so if bananas in line so this is our condition if you find the word bananas in the line uh, in any of the line when we're uh, checking through all the lines in our file then we need to do something so what do we do so we take the line and then we strip the line using the rstrip function when we strip the line, we're basically removing all the white spaces on both end, uh, on the uh, of, of the line. And then we will take the strip line, and then line is equal to line dot. We're going to use the replace function. Now, using the replace function, we need to pass in two more information. The first one is what the line, which line are we modifying? So we're going to just pass in line because we want to replace the line containing the word bananas and then we need to tell Python how are we going to modify this line so we just keep the line but we use but we just add in a string called r yellow remember to put a space before r because if you don't then the word bananas will get uh, uh, stuck with the word r so just put a space here and also remember to add in uh, next line. If you don't put in next line, then basically the third line will jump up to the second line. Because over here you can see our strip function has removed the, uh, the white spaces from the line containing bananas. So put a next line here, otherwise uh, it, the third line will jump up. And then finally, what we need to do is we need to print line, comma, and we just save this. So let me show you the file one more time. So here's the file, and you can see the second line contains the word bananas, but that's it. Now we run the file. It has run successfully. Open the file again, and you can see that the second line is no longer just bananas. It says bananas are yellow. So I think this code is quite useful if you want to add in text in specific positions of your file. So let me just go through the code one more time. Import file input, create a variable to store the path of your file, and then we create a for loop to go through every line of our file, and we check for the word bananas. If you find the word bananas in any of the line, we strip the line, we replace the line uh, by adding the string or yellow and then we just print it out inside our 
file and then your file will get updated accordingly so that's it um, I hope you have enjoyed the video if you have liked uh, if you have enjoyed the video please do like and share and if you have any questions comment below and thank you very much for watching